Israel at war. The new details coming in about the aftermath of the Hamas attacks as tri-state area families are mourning their loved ones. Good evening. I'm Dana Tyler. And I'm Dick Brennan. We have live team coverage on the war in Israel from the local families deeply affected by the violence to the latest information coming out of Israel and Gaza. Officials in Israel say more than 1,200 people have died in the Hamas attacks. Among those killed are at least 22 Americans. Gaza health officials say at least 1,100 people have died there, including more than 300 children. The White House National Security Spokesperson John Kirby said today the U.S. is in active conversations to allow civilians to leave Gaza safely. Israel has now formed a unity government and a war cabinet as it works to fulfill Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's promise to destroy Hamas. CBS 2's Jessica Moore reports, and as Israeli rescue teams continue the grueling work of searching through rav ravaged kibbutzes and towns, the horrors of Hamas are being exposed. As fighting continues for a fifth day, the horror of Hamas's attack on Israeli border communities is being laid bare. We see blood spread out in homes. The, the depravity of it is, is haunting. Israeli Defense Forces uncovering utter devastation inside kibbutzes and towns along the Israeli border. Israel fired more rockets into Gaza, where Palestinian officials say at least 1,055 people are dead and power to the port has completely run out. Israeli officials say Hamas continues firing rockets toward its border towns, demolishing this six-story apartment building in Ashkelon. The IDF says 300,000 Israeli troops are amassing near the Gaza border, indicating a ground assault could be imminent. We know that so far, 22 Americans lost their lives and 17 remain unaccounted for. Meanwhile, the frantic search for the estimated 150 Hamas hostages, including Americans, rages on. I asked Admiral John Kirby about the ongoing efforts to rescue hostages and whether American special forces could be sent in to help. We will do whatever we need to do. We will take the actions we need to take uh, to, uh, to get our, our, our American citizens uh, back home and, and safe and sound and released. Admiral Kirby said it's still too early to devise an operational rescue strategy, but added all options are on the table. Jessica Moore, CBS 2 News.